makeup smeared on pillows and sheets stained with fake tan. Well, not a joke, because that costs the hotel industry a whopping £1.8 million a year and 224 tonnes of bed linen and towels binned annually because they've been badly soiled. Bad for hotel costs and the environment. So we're worrying about profit margins and the environment for the hotels, and as a result, there's calls for guests to be charged when their makeup or their fake tan leaves a lasting impression. And in fact, you know, we. This is the mess caused by the fake tan on this bed. Look at you this. You see, it's almost like you've got a camera in my bedroom. Uh, <laughs> although, in my defense, I would say you can just wash this out really easily. Well, this is what Susanna said yes. at 5 a.m. this morning. She yep. says, Daily, she said, I put my it. smeared fake tan sheets in the wash and they come out clean. So we thought daily. we'd try that out. Yeah. And look at this. Yeah. Look at the stain. This sheet has been washed. This sheet has been washed this morning. Yeah. And it is still... I tell you, I would not sleep in that in a hotel if it was me. I think anyone... Smeared. Anyone I mean, it's all, look at it, it's to all see the stain on here. that. Totally okay. stained Should... like something. I mean, oh my, oh God, it's disgusting. Should those leaving the mess pick up the bill? We are joined by Love Island star Liberty Pool, who says, no, of course not. Let us fake tan in freedom. Former TOWIE star Harry Durbage says, hotels shouldn't be paying for your fake tan mess. Very good morning to you. Liberty, morning. are you with me on this? Just pop totally them in the, just pop them in the washing Susanna. machine. Can't even see anything. I think, look, yeah, it's look like fake this. tan's not permanent as well. I think it takes away from the service value of a hotel. Like, I quite often use a hotel room when I'm at events, when I'm going out with my friends. Like, I feel like you should be mm. able to use it as you like. Surely there's other options than, like, taxing us. Have you ever been to a hotel and they've told you, don't fake tan? No, never. I've actually accidentally got fake tan in the sheets before and said, and they've been fine about it. So I don't know why it's a problem now, at if, this moment in time. If okay. your friend was sick in the back of a cab on the way home mm. from a club, your friend would get fined by the taxi company for throwing up in the cab. Isn't this the same thing? I think thing? that is so different. I think mm -hmm. with, with the hotel, you have, like, a service value to it. You go in, you use it. You know, I'm doing my makeup in there, I'm doing my hair. I don't want to go into a hotel room that I'm staying and feel like I'm on edge. So you're like, saying, what you're I saying can do. staining and proud. No, I'm saying, why not give them another option? Rather than taxing us, why not say, are you going to be fake tanning? Yeah, OK, here's maybe, like, you know, a silk sheet that we've got to cover the actual sheets. Although, I think there's ways around it. They're mm. just honest, being you can have, you can have this sheet. You can have I, this sheet. I need to go spec savers, cos I can't even see that I side. can't see it either. Oh, I can. <laughs> you really oh, you I can. Look, the look sheets. Look at this sheet. I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let me... I'm going to start off by saying, I am the biggest fake tan lover. Obviously, I'm from Essex. I'm known for my spray tans. But I just personally would not go to a hotel with a freshly layer of fake tan on and just get straight in their bed. Because... What if you were on holiday for two weeks and you're one of those people, like me, the longer you're on holiday, the lower your tan the gets, tan goes, so you yeah, need to there. reapply during the holiday. <laughs> what would you do then? I mean, I would literally put it on and then leave it on for a couple of hours and wash it off. I would not get into the bed with it. Mm. Can't you wear pyjamas? <laughs> I mean, it still goes on your face. You still land on the pillow, so that's probably the worst and place. And a face goes. mask. But I'm one of these. And a like... balaclava. <laughs> I'm one of these. I, mean, I will possible. always. I will always. Literally, I think with the hotels, I get it because it's it's not our our property. It's not our our belongings. So treat it with respect. Um, and... I mean, it does sound like it's a serious issue. It's almost two million pounds cost yeah, a year, which is and a people lot. will be very concerned about the tons of bedding that's been thrown out. I am just surprised that people are using stuff which doesn't wash out. <laughs> I frankly. feel like the amount we pay for a hotel, though, surely, like, it should be, like, sometimes included in the budget mm -hmm. for that. Yeah, I get that. Because I think people, like, you know, we pay for the hotel, like, we expect the good service. I think asking people to pay a bit extra, especially when it's, like, a nice treat for them, is uh, out of order. Uh, Cheryl says, on a recent holiday to New York, I was told by the hotel I either had to buy my own towels or not use fake tan. I carried on using it as life without fake tan would be very pale. Lol. I, I just washed them in the shower and it came out. Just do your own washing. That's, <laughs> there we go. Harry, I, do I, your own I washing. Get, I get it from like a luxury hotel point of view because they obviously charge an enormous amount of money. Yeah. And then they can afford the sheets go. then. But I mean, like your budget friendly hotels that are doing hotels for like 50 quid to help people out mm. shouldn't really be having then to deal with all the mess. Do you know what? We have to draw the debates to, the clo to a close.